just running some new pipes. Um, we have a cold room roof for a new little unit we're putting in. There's something interesting. It's on the um, timber beams. They've all got uh, it's got a V and a V. They're all numbered, so they, they can assemble them. So, um, there we go, there's the one there. They must make them all in bits and then assemble them like a kit or something. That's these new fan motors starting up. That's power on now. They seem to think about it for a second or two before they start. Yeah, that's the other thing they do. Turn the power off and they just... Yeah. That's that home now. Just got to do the... Do the drain. Customer's just going to run it down the wall onto the floor because he wants to keep the humidity high in here for the cheese. Let's have a pipe up down the side. That's where it comes through into the old unit. The old unit is a bit bigger, you can see the mountain bump holes there. The old unit was way oversized, it was probably about three times too big for the room. Unit. We didn't really have any space, so screwed a bit of unit strut up. Um, Dropped a piece down from the eaves, and then uh, we've got a wall here. So legs up now. The unit to sit on. You can stand on that, it'll take plenty of weight. We'll pipe it down, let's come over the roof of the cold room down onto the unit. I'll put a little loop in there just to take any vibration out or anything. Um, tiny dryer. This one's got one of these um, um, DC motors on there as well. It sits there for a bit and thinks about it. Same as yours, and it takes um, still not the speed. Before it gets up to full speed, so if you 
you're not used to it. You than the old ones, but um, you have to get the whole cover, which is the piece, it's going to go to the centre, so if they don't want to cost a few hundred quid when that finally packs up. Take about a kilo. 24A on this thing.